Alright, hello everybody. Today I want to be going over the actual recent changes published last night about Shadow Priest. So, for people who haven't had a look or been on the PTO or tried it out, um, there was a change last night that increased the Void Bolt's um, extend duration from 2 seconds to 3 seconds, and they've also done a flat 25% buff on Mind Blast, Mind Fly. Pretty much everything, every single one of the Shadow Priest spells has been buffed by 25%. So, um... What what this has actually caused, which, you know, surprise to a lot of people, I guess, but, you know, to anyone who knows how PTR cycles work, not really, um, that Shadow Priest is actually quite overpowered at the moment, um, more so than it is currently. Um, and it's in kind of a different regard, though. So, the current Shadow Priest, because of how Void Bolt works, you're actually able to maintain dots on close targets, um just forever. Uh, so, what this causes is Shadow Priest to do a crazy amount of damage on, you know, three, four, five, six targets, you know, whatever it may be, things that live for a prolonged amount of time. So, Shadow's actual cleave damage right now is quite ridiculous. Um, you know, they still get the same thing where they get a buffed single target damage from dotting multiple mobs. So, we see that, you know, still in the class fantasy. Um, well, not in the class fantasy, but still a part of a class. You know, the only thing that Shadow is really kind of losing now from the change to the Void Bolt is their their scaling across multiple mobs. So, you know, if you're if you if I'm dotting something over here and there's a mob, so you know, over here I wanted to dot, I can't be continuously extending both of those mobs' duration just with a single Void Bolt. Um, so the multi dotting potential has changed very slightly. Um, so, you know, you can't, you actually have to recast dots on a secondary target that's not in the cleave range for Void Bolt. Um, but, you know, you can refresh dots on multiple targets. Um, you know, it can, it can be from any, you know, you can, you can refresh three, you can refresh 20. So your damage cap on multiple mobs is ridiculously high. Um, and this all really has come, you know, not that the, the damage buff to Shadow, while it's, you know, it was pretty significant in the change to the class, the biggest thing was the increase in the Void Bolt um, dot duration increase. Um, so I'll, I'll show you a little bit now about, you know, what I'm talking about. So, um, you know, we can keep dots on, you know, I'm not going to be casting my play, mind blast very much, but just to, just to demonstrate. So, you know, we can keep dots like that. Um, we can get into... Insanity, and we can just permanently maintain dots. Now this is the the class, um, the tier set, but that that isn't really a factor. Um, so if you if you're casting your void bolt on cooldown, you can get these. You know, I, I was doing the dummies last night for you know five or so minutes, and I got my dots up to like over over a minute. Um, so you know you can. You're not getting punished for multi-dotting, and especially with like multiple targets, what you can be doing is if you're, you know, extending just a main target, your dots are never going to fall off a main target, and you can just be looking to, you know, dot a secondary target, and you're not actually losing that much from dotting a secondary target because you are getting, you know, six insanity for Vampiric Touch and four insanity for a Shadow Word Pain. But you know, just uh, like just have a have a look at like you know how long these dot durations are, um, and just you know what what that kind of causes. So, what, you know, th this, this makes Shadow Priest have a, a very, very, very strong cleave potential, which is something Shadows never really have. It is, it is a complete paradigm shift, really, from what Shadow has at the moment. Um, so, you know, it's not the best thing to be seeing, you know, mid-tier, but for people worried about Shadow's position and whether Shadow would be good come Nighthold, uh, you know, it's, it's, looking, it's looking quite good. Um, you know, you still you still have the pretty slow ramp up time. Uh, you know, if you want to be heavy cleaving, you know, straight away, shadows shadows not good at that. Um, but for sustained cleave, shadow is gonna be you know the strongest the strongest uh, sustained cleave. You know, on two, three, four, five, ten mobs, it doesn't really matter. Shadows shadows gonna be ridiculously strong, and that all just comes from the fact that you know you you can apply a dot, and that dot is going to last till the end of the fight, assuming that mob is going to last till the end of the fight. Um, so that that gives shadow a, a quite a nice niche and to be honest it if if the damage stays exactly how it is which I, I doubt it um, I, I think I wouldn't be surprised to actually see some damage nerfs coming into shadow um, 
but yeah, so Shadow Shadow right now is is looking very very strong. Um, you know, there's there's still a couple things I would like to see changed. Um, I would like to see the dot damage scaled back a bit still, um, and I would like to see some more damage onto Mind Blast. Um, I would actually, to be honest, I would love to see some more damage put into uh, uh, Mind Flay, which will buff the, the the effectiveness of Void Ray over Reaper of Souls. That just opens up this talent single target. Um, that would be a very nice change. So I'd like to see Mind Flay's damage, you know, significantly increased. Um, and I would also like to see Mind Blast damage kind of bumped up too. I'd like to see Void Torrent's damage um, increased as well, just because it does feel like a pretty weak spell at the moment. Um, you know, I would just what I would like to see is I would like to see a you know kind of a move away from dots, and then more of the damage going into the single target spells, which will then give Shadow a a better um, single target single target DPS, um, and then you know your your cleave is obviously affected because your dots aren't as strong, but that is just, you know, in turn going to be balancing the classes. Um, you know, we, we do see Serenity to Madness now is is starting to fall off. It's still a it's still going to be a very good talent choice. Um, but what these what these changes kind of bring about to Shadow is that they they're basically reducing the effectiveness of the level one hundred talent so they're all kind of in line, so they're all kind of down to Legacy of the Void style. Um, now, because they have buffed the insanity generation on, you know, all your spells, basically, you know, Legacy of the Void still really isn't that good. I don't really think it's going to be taking over Shrine to Madness in a lot of gameplay, um, and that's just purely because you're, they've they've buffed the amount of insanity you get out of out of Void form. Now, you're not out of Void form enough for Legacy of the Void, you know, to be to reduce the amount of time you're out of Void form by thirty percent by Legacy of the Void really isn't that significant. Um, you know, it's not... Originally, Legacy of the Void was really good because you could get into Void Form just in time so you wouldn't have to refresh your dots. Um, and then refreshing your dots used to be very punishing because they didn't generate lots of insanity. Whereas now, they, they used to not generate insanity at all. So, it used to be Legacy of the Void was a, a really good talent because, you know, you would, you'd be generating a whole lot less insanity outside of Void Form. You'd get into Void Form and you could refresh your dots and then you wouldn't be wasting two globals on doing two essentially dead spells while you're in Void Form. Now, the way that it is at the moment is that you're, you're not... Uh, recasting dots isn't punishing and getting into Void Form doesn't take you very long at all. So regardless, you know, with or without Legacy of the Void. Um, so... Even with the changes to lingering insanity, uh, you know these these are all kind of meh-ish talents. Um, Serenity to Madness is is still good, um, but I don't think it's as strong as it used to be. And hopefully, if we do see some some more balance changes coming in to the redu the reducing you know the dot damage or whatever, um, you know that that's obviously going to affect Serenity to Madness more than it would Legacy of the Void. Um, so I'd like to see that also come in, but. You know, right now, never fear, Shadow Priest. Um, you know, you're the new. If if this if this Void Bolt stays at three seconds, um, Shadow's going to have a a really 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 good time on cleave situations. Um, so, you know, there's the niche. We, I'm just we just have to hope that the uh, the single targets there, and you know, as as I suggested, um, you know, buffing buffing Mind Flay is actually I think a, a quite a good option. Um, because then this this void ray talent will open up here, and that will give you a single target option with void ray and fortress of the mind. Um, so uh, hopefully, hopefully um, Blizzard kind of takes it a step further in the balancing. Um, the changes right now I think are actually pretty good. Um, you know, we're, we're still seeing a lot of bitching and moaning about the void bolt changes, but you know, actually playing with the void bolt. Um, you know, it, it has its benefits over the, the old style, and then now Shadow isn't going to be as reliant on um, multi-dotting multiple things. Like, it's not going to be so gimped single target because its AoE, like, its multi-dotting potential is so strong. Um, you know, now it's more in a kind of situation where its cleave potential is very strong, um, but its multi-dotting has, has kind of fallen off a bit on multiple targets. So if we if we see this paradigm shift to more of the single target spells, I think Shadow will be in a fantastic spot. Um, 
and then you know it still it still has the core gameplay of you know you wanting to be insanity for longer is a significant benefit to your class and that's kind of where the skills of the class comes to how well you can manage you know high stacks of insanity um, so yeah uh, the other thing I would like to see though as well is now people might not like this idea but I think it's kind of pretty imperative to making Legacy of the Void you know a good talent is that we see the insanity generation outside of void form decreased um, now this can happen in two ways so we can we can have either um, you know the overall insanity gain from things like mind blast and mind flay um, they can be reduced now to compensate for that, I would like to see you know void bolts uh, insanity generation increased. So that means you're out of insanity for longer. Now, while you might not like that from a pure you know I you know I don't want to be outside of insanity, um, it it makes insanity feel like a you know a more imperative thing to the class, and it it'll also increase the relative strength of legacy of the void um, to the other talents. So you know if we if we buff insanity generation from void bolt. You know, hopefully we're going to be staying in um, in our uh, void form for longer, and then you know we're going to be staying outside of void form for longer. So that will open up talents like Legacy of the Void and Lingering Insanity, um, and that'll just make you know both of those talents more viable and you know to choose. Um, so you know, I think I think Shadow's still kind of in a situation where you're not really ever going to be replacing Reaper of Souls because Reaper of Souls is the only one that generates insanity um, and Twist of Fate is because you're going to be doing so much damage in the last kind of point of the fight that Twist of Fate is just going to outweigh the other talents. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.